Hello everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how I made this peristaltic poem for my robotics design and innovation class. Our class's goal is to make a hand sanitizer dispenser, so I chose to 3D print this DIY pump. Because hand sanitizer is a viscous fluid, we needed a motor with high torque, so we used a car's window motor from our spare supplies. I wanna show you how I designed and 3D printed this DIY peristaltic pump, but first, I have some pretty big news. Our channel got fan art. A few weeks ago, we had someone send this to us, and it is amazing. To be honest, it looks much better than the graphics I made for this channel when I started back in seventh grade. And if you are subscribed, you will definitely see this graphic more often. And if you want to reach out to me for any reason, like advice starting on a YouTube channel or on your own DIY project, there's a form you can fill out here on my website, mechanicalmax.com link in the description. Now let's get into how I designed this DIY pump. So the first thing I did was open Fusion 360 and then start catting and reverse engineering the pump itself. So we'll have the pump right here on the screen as well. And you can see how the profile is actually really similar. And the way I got that was by doing several test prints. So I just copied the outline to make sure all the holes were in the right place so that everything would fit together. As you can see on the screen right now, there were five test prints and two other ones for the other sections of this print. So coming back to the CAD, we have the lid right here, which we'll take off. And then we have this right here and we have two other pieces. So that's a total of four 3D prints for this pump. So right here we have bearings, which I got from Nick Mastercar down here. Um, it's actually right here. From McMaster car and this helps a lot and it speeds up the process so you don't have to make placeholders you can just download the part itself and then these columns right here are actually aluminum which we cut out on the lathe and once I 3d printed everything it was good to go to put everything together And that's how I made this 3D printed DIY peristaltic pump. My goal this summer is to hit over 1,000 subscribers before August this year, and I can really only do it with your help. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button and comment down below to let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.